Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the comic quarter. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. Years ago, there was an Action Comics number one found in the walls of a house that was being renovated. Can you imagine picking up something or finding something in the walls, that level of grail? Well, believe it or not, grails are still being found and I got one recently. So it's not an Action Comics number one, but it is a grail level book from over 80 years ago. So hopefully you guys are excited about this one. Here we go. I recently started a Disney travel agency where we help you get to the magic. Any of your planning needs we can take care of. Anything from purchasing park tickets to booking a full package with Disney or Disney Cruise Line. I book directly with Disney so all of my services are completely free. If any of this magic sounds like something you want to explore, email me and I'll give you a free quote today. A friend of the community reached out to me and said that he had got a Facebook message from a, a gentleman who inherited a barn from his father. And while they were doing a clean out under all the rubble and like barn crud, 80 years worth of junk, they found two comic books. Can you believe it? After 82 years, so do the math and figure out what dates we're talking about. After 82 years, these comic books were uncovered. Imagine once again, renovating a house and tearing off the walls and finding an Action Comics number one. Like I said, this is not an Action Comics number one. It's not a Superman number one, Batman number one, Detective Comics 27. But once you see this comic book, you will agree that this is a grail level comic book. Now it's been under rubble and everything for 82 years. So the condition of this comic book, when I got it, still had dirt on it. I had to take it outside and brush it off, brush off the straw, brush off the dirt, and it actually came with another comic book as well. Now, the Grail comic book is in pretty low condition. Already it's a 0.5, and then I counted the pages and found that there was some pages missing. It's probably 85 to 90% complete. There's probably a wrap or two missing in the centerfold. But regardless, this is a book that I've always wanted, and to find it or to have someone have found it in this condition is, is newsworthy to me. It's amazing that these comic books are still being found, uncovered, and discovered 82 years after they were sold originally. So I can imagine the, the farm kid or the dad who owned this barn or who worked this barn taking a break and, and bringing out two of his favorite comic books or even a farm hand or, or some school kid who worked the barn, you know, for extra couple, you know, cents of change to buy his next comic book or to buy, you know, candy from the candy kitchen. I can imagine them taking a break in the hay and reading these comic books. And, oh, it's time to get back to work. So they set them down and forgot them. And it got covered up for 80 two years and finally uncovered. So I'm going to show you guys the first comic book, which was a, an extra comic book. This is nothing to like wag a stick at, scoff at. This book is incredible as well. Hopefully you guys are excited to see these books or as excited as I was to be able to receive these books, get the phone call. Hey, we found something. Are you interested? Heck yes, I'm interested. First book up was a throw in. This was found with the Holy Grail or the Grail book. This book is amazing. It's awesome. It is All American Comics number 24 from March of 1941. And as you can see, Alan Scott Green Lantern is fighting these Western gunslingers. He's using his ring on the cover, which is really cool. As you can see, it's like a green flame coming out of his ring. There is... A little color lost there and then up top you can see a little bit of like chipping and just you know kind of just deterioration of those pages now this is interesting to me right here I could tell there was another comic book attached but it wasn't the grail comic book so I asked I was like were there more comic books that were found with these two and I was told no it was just these two but you never know like what was there what was like carried away at some point but either way, this is the first one. Really great early Alan Scott. All American Comics 16 was Alan Scott Green Lantern's first appearance. This is just, you know, a good handful of issues after that. And there is a preview of Dr. Midnight in this comic book. So very, very cool. 
I'm glad, you know, for the most part, the integrity of the cover is still there. It appears to be better than what it is. This is definitely probably a 0.5 1.0 comic book. You know, spine splits, probably cover barely hanging on. I think it's got one staple that maybe it's probably not even attached to at the cover, but I made it look good, put it in Mylar, and then put it in this magazine size top loader. So that is the first book. And before we show the girl, I want to talk a little bit about who gave me the phone call about this and a little bit about what they do. So very quickly, I want to let you guys know that Champion City Collectibles was the one that thought of me first. They got the phone call. They got the email. They got the message about this barn find of this holy grail. They thought of me first. They knew that this was something up my alley, something that I was very, very interested. And they called me first and said, hey, I'm going to go look at this. Are you interested in this if we can make a deal? And I said, heck yes. So they helped negotiate or be the liaison between the family that inherited the barn and myself. So it was very, very awesome of Champion City Collectibles. I do want to let you guys know that they have a website. They're an online retailer from Ohio. And here are some of the highlights from their website that you can pre-order directly from their website. So if you don't have an LCS in your town, you can pre-order directly from their website. There's a live clock to notify you when the cutoff time is for any order. And then there's also a chat feature where you can message Champion City Collectibles and ask any question about any of their products. And they're really quick to respond there. And there's also good news. There's a 20% off promotion if you join their email list. So hopefully you guys will check out Champion City Collectibles. A little token of thanks for them thinking of me first. Really do appreciate that Champion City Collectibles. Thank you so much. Hashtag not sponsored by Champion City Collectibles, but wanted to give them a shout out once again for thinking of me first and giving me first crack at this amazing, amazing find. Okay, so the moment we've all been waiting for, we've been waiting for about seven minutes now to see what this grail is. And it's crazy to hold this in my hand. I'm, I'm really excited to share this with everybody. This was, this was hiding in a barn under hay, mud, and whatever for 82 years. And so here it is. I'm showing it to the world. This is Submariner Comics number one from March of 1941, the same month as this. So the kid went out and bought these two comics. He had 20 cents and he bought two comic books. Now, as you can see, very, very low condition. But if you hold it like this, it's pretty darn nice. It's pretty darn nice. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of rodent or bug chew from 82 years of being in a barn, which I'm surprised it looks this good. I'm so thankful that the top half of the comic book is still there. Th this part of the comic book is okay. If, if there's going to be bug chew, like let's have it be this part because you still see Angel, you still see Submariner, you still see this U-boat of Nazis. It's insane. What a great Alex Schomburg cover for March of 1941. What's really great about this is just the, the host of amazing names. Who's who of the Golden Age? Joe Simon, you've got Alex Schomburg on the cover, and then one of the creators of Submariner, Bill Everett, also did artwork on this. You've got Hitler in this comic book. What a crazy, crazy comic book. And as you can see here, a little bit of the condition. There's some soiling issues going on here. Don't know what that is after 82 years of being stored in a barn. And then you've got a kid practiced his Nazi symbol right there, which is, you know, kind of disturbing, kind of weird. You've also got a little bit of chew on the side here. But just the fact that this exists, the fact that it was uncovered after 82 years and it came with this All-American Comics number 24 is incredible. It's crazy. And even if I just kept it like this, I mean, that's, to me, that's worth it. That That's really cool. But what was funny was when I got these comic books, there was still, you know, dirt and grime and, and hay that I needed to take outside and just brush off. And I made sure that it like all the folds were like folded over nicely so they would present the best it possibly could. I gave it the best life that I could give it. Now the question is, what do I do with this? Do I send it to, do I send these books to Sanderson Studios to possibly, you know, maybe straighten out the cover a little bit? Maybe send it to CGC for you know, grading, it's going to be a 0 0.5 blue label. That's what I want. 0 0.5 blue label. Is it worth doing that? I mean, it's pretty well protected. 
in these cases right here. So do I really need to do that? I know it's a 0 0.5. I know it's got pages missing, you know, maybe a centerfold or two missing. Now there is a text story in the middle. And I think that's what's missing is part of this text story. 40 pages of Submariner and 20 pages of Angel. But I think there's more like then there's like two wraps of text story. So I'm about 80% sure that this is incomplete. And it's about 80 to 90%. Like I said earlier, 85 to 90% incomplete. I've looked this thing over several times. You can even see there's a little bit more dirt or grime there that I probably could have picked off more or done a better job of cleaning. But either way, the colors are good for being in a barn for 80 some years. I'm happy to own this. And I'm so grateful to Champion City Collectibles for giving me the opportunity to get first crack at this collection, this barn find. Uh, what do you guys think? Is this newsworthy? Is this one of those ones where it's like, wow, I can't believe that Submariner comics number one are still being found under a pile of hay and dirt in a barn after 82 years. It's incredible. Both of these from 1941. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're brand new to the channel, hit that subscription button. We we have crazy finds all the time and stories like this a couple times a year. So stay tuned for more. If you're brand new, hit that subscription button, hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos. You guys hit that thumbs up. I really do appreciate the thumbs up and the comments really does mean a lot. And I will talk to you all on the next one. See you. Bye.